Okay, we're testing Prince's reactions to the puppy. And sorry if it's not a very good video because I can't see. But we'll see what we can do with it. Come on, baby. This is Clyde. Let's go for a walk. Good one. boy. Good boy. Hi, fly. baby. <laughs> Say, what the heck is that, huh? Now, there, this has not been staged at all. He came into the dog park, and he, we took him right up to a puppy. And I'm letting the puppy be a little pushy with him, and you can see that he's honestly doing awesome. You good boy. He's more bark than anything. I mean, a, he barks because he's happy to see you and he barks because something's new. So it's really just, he's just unsure. He doesn't know what to do. This is Sophie. It's Prince over there. We're gonna be doing a little bit slower introduction this time. We're gonna be letting him off leash. Come on, Sophie. This was a dog that the owner was drug into the dog park. And look at him now. Come on, Sophie. Good girl. Sophie, sit. Prince, sit. Sit. Sophie. Prince. Sit. Good girl. Good boy, Prince. Okay. Good boy. Come on, Sophie. Sophie. Come on, Sophie. Sophie, come on. Sophie, still working on leash training. They're still not big fans of it. You can see that he's, I mean, we've only had him one day and he stays right by us. I don't have to call him. Dogs have a natural pack mentality. They will stay with the pack if they're, I mean, it's just a natural process for them. But if they're taught to be dominant, then the pack follows them. Good boy, Prince. Come on, Maximus. This is Maximus. And Prince, we're going to do an off leash greeting this time. Prince, you're a good boy. Good boy. Hi, ah, baby. You can see that he he's able to come say hi to the puppy if he wants to. He's very nice to the puppy. The boy. Sit. 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 Ross doing some leash training and sit. having the puppies learn sit. The boy. Prince. A boy. He's not a huge fan of the puppy, but he's still very nice and respectful for to the puppy. 
Good boy. Good boy. Very friendly. I haven't seen him snap at all. He's just leery, jumping back a little bit. an off-leash greeting with Prince. Good boy, Prince. You're doing very good. good Mr. Cobra is not a fan of the leash, but he's actually doing pretty good, huh? He was not very nice to me yesterday, were ya? Cobra, come on. Cobra. Good boy. So this is just a day of having Prince back. I mean, he doesn't go very far. He kind of leaves us in circles around. He wants to get in the water. You know, he is not used to exercise at all. So, I mean, he's, we've went around the tent three times and he's already tired. Come on, baby. You good boy. Good boy. Yay. Good boy. But he does, you know, you can see he's off leash. Really? He's not going anywhere. He stays right by us. Doing very good with the puppies. I haven't on, seen him snapping at them at all. We've let him them invade his space Cobra. quite a few times. And he doesn't snap at them. He avoids them, but he doesn't snap at them. See, that was the example. Good boy. But I mean, you just, you can see, he just doesn't go anywhere. He stays right by us. When the owners came in, I mean, he took off and just left them. Um, we haven't gotten him to get 10 feet away from us except Sit. to go get water. Cobra. Sit. I think the first day, Chris said he ran over and said hi to the horsies. That was an exciting time for him. He was very interested in the horses. But after going and targeting the horses just a couple of minutes, he went right back to Christopher. Now this is the first meeting that we're going to do with Prince and an adult dog set. Now it's not staged. This is the very first time we've done it. We'll see how he does. He has greeted a few dogs through the kennel, but this first time we're going to let him off leash with one. And I'm kind of videotaping the whole thing. It's kind of hard to videotape and do it, so just I'll do the best I can. We're going to go for a walk with him. Look at that. It's a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, let's go for a walk. Go for a walk. Walk. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. And I'm going to trip on my head. Mm. Come on. Let's get out here and then we'll walk them together. A little excited, but Riley does cause that. She already wants to make friends. Okay, walk. Okay, come on. Leave it. Get her hair down. What? Get her hair down. Pay attention to that. Come on. Do it again. Good boy. <laughs> Still a little bit of work on the leash. He he hasn't been taught very well to walk, but I mean, it's not, I've had a lot worse. So I mean, it's just gonna be consistency and he'll be fine. 
but I mean you can see he's in front of me but it's not real tight Good girl. so he's not dragging me Good girl. Yep. Switch. so you can see I mean it's really not bad and then even this see he completely ignored still curious but he's pretty much ignoring Axel This is to demonstrate his leash work. I mean, you know, his leash isn't that bad. Does he need work? Yes. You know, he, he tends to be in front of the owner. Um, but beyond that, when he was in front of me walking him, I mean, his head was constantly turned back to make sure that I didn't go anywhere. So Chris has given him the sit command. He's a little weak on that, definitely. He's like, uh, he doesn't, like, why do I want to sit for you? Um, we will be working on that, definitely. He's got a really good recall. He's he's made a couple of mistakes on charging the dogs a couple of times um, in the fence. And I was able to just call him and he came right back. So, so far that was sit and down. He knows the commands. Following through is going to be a big one for him where he knows when you you tell him to do something, you, you need to follow through. Stay. Now we're going to do the stay. Which I imagine this might be a little hard for him because, you know, when these guys come back, you do have, they tend to have owner separation. So it's hard to do the stay because they want to be right by stay. you. And he is a very clingy boy. <laughs> so you can see he's going to need some work. Um, so far, Chris has been able to get about 10 feet away with the stay before he gets up. Again, consistency. Being patient, continually doing it over and over. Chris, come. But he's got a very good recall. I was very proud of that. Oh. So going back to the kennel. Riley, what are you doing? Riding. Let's go. He's so tired he doesn't even want to chase her. <laughs> are you tired? Uh-huh. You tired, baby? There you go. Yeah, you can see. I mean, you know, you've got to keep in mind when you lock these dogs up in a small space putting them on you know a 10 20 foot chain whatever you're doing I mean their heart their lungs everything is affected you know you really affect their lifespan and everything you know he's he's like got labor breathing because just a casual walks with seven week old puppies he's exhausted you know so now delicate balance in getting his weight where it needs to be getting his lungs and heart back where it needs to be you can't just jump in there and give him a five mile run a day you know it's from? it's slow it's a slow process where you get you know like i said we started off with him walking with seven week old puppies you know we're going to do slow walks I would probably say in about a week I'll get him with a pack, a few dogs like Riley, and we'll get some running in there. Right now I'm I'm not going to run him. He wouldn't be able to handle it very well. And that's another thing to keep in mind, you know, heat exhaustion and stuff like that. You know, when you're flat out running your dogs, and Prince is a good example, a dog like Prince, where he just has never exercised in his life, you can cause them to collapse on you because I mean you know they can die from a heart attack because they just can't you know I mean you know everybody overweight and everything else you can affect yourself by overdoing it so it's all a slow process in him losing weight and gaining you know being able to run around like a normal dog at three years old and they disappeared on me 